Hi guys, welcome back to another episode of Cup of Joe. What's going on? Obviously, I'm in a different location. Obviously, I'm not in my apartment. Um, it looks like I'm in a hotel, but I'm not. I'm in my I'm at my mom's house in Philadelphia. I'm in her new beautiful guest room where I like to sleep when I'm here because my room. Mom, I'm filming a video. Huh, it's been a really long time since I've filmed a video in this house, but I like to stay in this room because my room has turned into there's like clothes all over the place and like this is just better and easier and it's in the basement which means it's colder and if you guys know me you know that I like to sleep with my room at like 60 degrees I sleep with the air conditioning on in the winter time I just like need it to be freezing when I sleep today's beverage is a nice cold glass of ice water because I'm hydrating because in about two hours me and my mom are heading to the airport and we're going to Italy my mom and my two brothers Alec and Evan and we're just gonna do like a whole tour around Italy, which I'm super excited about. So we're doing that and we're leaving today. So I just wanted to film a video really quickly before I left so that you guys weren't like, where did she go? And if you don't follow me on Instagram, then you'd have no idea where I went. So if you don't follow me, please do so you can get the updates on all of my trip stuff. I'm gonna be posting the entire time. I'm actually really, really excited about it and all my outfits are literally fire, so the Instagram content is gonna be out of control. That's basically the quick update. Heading to Italy in a few hours, so I definitely won't be posting on this channel for the next week or so, but follow me on Instagram if you wanna like be up to date with what I'm doing. It's at Jordan Rebecca. I'll have it linked down below so you can just go ahead and follow. And yeah, that's about it. Um, let's get into today's topic, which is how to be happy while single. Here we go. So this is something that I think stems from one of my last episodes of Cup of Joe, where I talked about like my number one piece of dating advice and like opened up to you guys about, you know, my dating struggles in the past. Um, I've been very open with you guys about my dating issues. I've literally cried on camera so many times. Um, about dating and about boys so I feel like it's only natural to now share with you guys how I'm actually really 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 happy being by myself I'm actually happier being by myself than being with someone and I think that's really important I think it's a really important time in your life and I'm excited to talk to you guys about how to achieve that so right now I'm single I don't go on any dating apps I don't try to go on dates I don't think about dating. I literally think about me, myself, and I. I think about my friends and my family and my job and fun, amazing things I can do, and I don't think about dating. And it is like a weight has been lifted off of my shoulders. Like, I can't tell you, last year, I felt like I had to find someone and I had to date because I was literally obsessed and in love with this person who, who didn't want to be with me. And because of that, I felt like I needed to find somebody else to fill that void for me to like either, you know, make him realize he wanted me or to show myself that there was someone out there that actually did want me the way I wanted him. And I was just really consumed and obsessed with finding someone. All I wanted was a boyfriend. Like I did not, all I wanted was a boyfriend. I went on so many dates. I went on so many dating app dates. I would go on the dating apps every single day, swiping and finding people. I would always ask people to set me up. And it just went nowhere. I went on dates with these people and I didn't feel happy afterwards. I didn't feel like I liked them. I didn't feel excited to go on the dates. I always felt that I never wanted to go on the dates that I planned and I was never excited about it. And afterwards, I never was excited about the people I went on dates with. I don't even remember half of their names of the people that I went on date with, dates with. I, I literally don't remember them. So at that point, dating really became like a chore. It wasn't fun at all. I hated doing it and it felt like it was something that I had to do because I couldn't be single because I needed someone and I needed a guy and I wanted a guy so badly and that was the only thing that was gonna make me happy. I was unhappy. I was sad because I was heartbroken and I felt like the only thing I could do to make myself feel better was to find another guy to love me or for me to love. That's really where I was with dating. I never found it to be fun. I never wanted to do it and I know why. It was because I didn't want to meet somebody else. I wanted to be with the person that I liked, obviously. I didn't want to meet somebody else. I wanted to feel that emotion all the time that I felt that I that I felt when I was with him, but like I wasn't gonna find that in somebody else at that point in my life. So dating really just became pretty eh and blah and like I didn't like doing it. Um, so about, I don't know, four months ago, I just decided 
I'm not doing it anymore. I'm not going on dates. They don't make me happy. Um, I don't want to meet someone and I'm and that's it. And that's literally it. I'm just not going on dates anymore. I don't care. I don't want to go on Hinge. It makes me feel, um, it makes, it's, a, it's kind of discouraging to me when I go on Hinge because, or Bumble or whatever, because you're swiping through all these people and I'm like, how am I supposed to know if I like this person or not via their photo? I either need to say no to every single person on the app or go out and meet every single person on the app. You find someone so much more attractive and so much cuter and so much, you want them so much more when you know who they are, not just from a photo, you know? So like that was the big first issue with it. It was really hard for me to pick out people on an app because it was so impersonal. So after, I went on a few dates like three months ago and I was just like, this is stupid. Like I don't, I, I don't want this. I don't want to be dating. Like. I, I, I don't want to be single, but I also like don't care about this. This isn't fun and like I don't like it. So I just kind of decided, look, I'm 23 years old. I'm very young. I don't need to be in a relationship. No one needs to be in a relationship no matter how old you are. And I don't need this. Like I have such a beautiful life with friends and family and, and people who care about me in a different way. And like I'm okay right now just being alone. So ever since just kind of deciding to not go on dates, not because I was like, I'm happy being single, but just because I was like, I don't want to, <laughs> this is boring and like, I don't like it. And like, I, I'm not in the place to be like meeting these new people right now. And I just really want to focus on like being with my friends and like hanging out and like appreciating and loving the people I already have in my life. Once I decided that being happy, being single kind of just like followed with it. And there's a lot of things that I like a lot about being single. And there's a lot of things that I miss about not being single. Not that I was ever not single, but like there's a lot of things that I miss about having someone, obviously. And I think there's a lot of things you can remind yourself of when you are single, that's honestly really great. And like a lot of people say these things and I used to be that person that was like, who the hell cares? Like, I don't want that, I want a boyfriend. But once you kind of let go of that, it's really nice to be that friend that doesn't have the drama. Like when I, it's really nice and a good feeling to be that person that people come to for advice instead of you venting to someone else about your problems. Like I used to talk about guy things all the time. Like I had so much anxiety and so many things inside of me that I just thought about all the time with boys and I would just word vomit it to anyone that I was around and like now it's so nice to sit and have a conversation about one, something completely different or two, hear someone else's problems and be able to help them. Like it just feels like securing and nice and like I would just rather be single and be secure than be in a relationship with someone and feel anxious and insecure have all this drama and problems like obviously it's different and that's when you know you found the one when you don't have any of those things you know so i don't know if that really answered how to be happy single but i think it's important to keep in mind that in order to really embrace being single it's just like you just have to let go of all the other stuff and like letting go of all that pressure of dating and finding someone and just knowing that it's gonna happen in your own time makes being single much more enjoyable and makes not having someone like feel okay. Like I just, I think what really makes it better for me is remembering that I would rather be alone and do whatever the hell I want and not have any drama or anxiety in my life and that surround boys or like relationship issues then have someone who makes me feel like that. Like, I don't know. And I know that one day there is gonna be someone out there that doesn't make me feel like that. And like, that's gonna be great. And that's when I'm gonna find the one. But like, I don't think I'm gonna meet him on a dating app. Like, I don't think that I'm gonna like, need to try to find him. I think he's just gonna come. And I'm doing, it's not like I sit at home every night and do nothing. My single life is going out and doing things for me. So it'll all fall into place. And like, once you build up that confidence, of yourself while being single then like all the other then all the guys are gonna come to you because my confidence now versus last year when I was continually putting in myself myself in situations that got me hurt my confidence was like down here now I don't have someone and I'm not putting myself in those situations and I don't have someone like telling me or like showing me how much they like me but still my confidence has been going up because I have myself to tell myself the 
because I, I myself tell myself those things and not having all that extra noise around is really, really good for you and your confidence and who you are. So like, that's how I try to be happy single is just remember that like, this is my time for me. This is the time to become best friends with yourself. This is the time you can rely on yourself to make yourself happy, which at the end of the day is who you're gonna have no matter what. I have never felt more loved in my life and I don't have a boyfriend. And it's because I have amazing friendships and mentors and family members, coworkers, people that like, just give me love in other ways. And everybody has people like that in their life, whether it's a family member or not. It's a friend, it's a coworker, it's a mentor, it's a teacher. So I hope this video made sense. I also am sitting here remembering like all the things I have to do before I leave. So I'm sorry if this was very all over the place. Um, hopefully I'll have some videos to share with you guys while I'm in Italy. I'm definitely going to be vlogging. I'm bringing my camera. My plan is to upload it, the video um, of like all, my plan is to do one full Italy video instead of like a bunch of little vlogs. So hopefully that turns out and is cool. But yeah, once again, follow me on Instagram if you are not already because I will be documenting my entire trip on there. Um, tons of outfits from Verge Girl that I showed you guys in my last haul will be all uploaded to my Instagram. So go check it out. I'll be storing and all that fun stuff. So if you're interested go follow me. Also, if you want to see more episodes of Cup of Joe and other videos, subscribe to my channel. I love you guys so much and I will see you on the flip side. Bye!